下品庶民の下品さが猟銃に感染してるま,まあまあまったく市松あいつのせいでノーブル学園がめちゃくちゃよWhat's going on, YouTube? My name is Wadman d i s t a n and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Rich. This is episode 24. Now, if you have not seen the previous episode, the first episode of Rain is Root, go ahead and watch. It's going to be you know where. Also, if you do happen to enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Let's not waste any more time on Reyna's precious root. Am I right or am I right? Shiver. I got some sort of chill. I had a feeling someone was directing some major bloodlust my way. What? Oh, nothing much. When I came back to my room, Ryo was there. Perfect timing. We could spend my day off reading manga or something. There we go. Yeah, we were having a scary story contest of sorts and I joined in. It should still be going on outside. Why'd you leave? What was a great. Wait, what? Do you think that was a little vulgar to talk about with rich girls? I ended up telling that story since it was the one episode of my life guaranteed to be hilarious. There are? Yeah, like Ayaka. I wonder if Jogasaki overheard. Scary. She 100% heard. Uh, you think? Well, maybe they were that afraid of me. Looking back now, my time immediately after transferring in was depressing. That survival incident caused by the heavy rain had most certainly turned the tides. If nothing else, I could be out in the foyer without constantly being demo demonized? I was gonna say demonetized, what's wrong with me? By my doormates. <laughs> that was a huge development by itself. There was also the fact that Mina chan moved in. Mina chan stood out just as much as Sylvie did. Once she started looking after me, the boarders stopped treating me like I was dangerous since I was on such good terms with the Kaminal san. But do you really think you can go so far as to say I'm integrated? There were plenty of girls I could talk to on a personal level, like Gaga <coughs> Boop, and Akana chan, but I didn't feel like I was fully integrated into the dorm. At the end of the day, still didn't fit into the ambiance of a woman's dorm. Or so I thought, anyway. I believe her. Hmm. Really? She said so. At the very least, it looked like I fit in from a third party's point of view. I know. Her. It was obvious who she was referring to. Is it really obvious though? Not for me. Reyna? Sylvia? Reyna? Oh, I guess it should be obvious. Certain someone who was friendly with all the boarders. There was no doubt that my dormants had started to see me in a more realistic light because I was friends with her. Even more so than because Mina chan was watching over me. I'm grateful to her. Maybe you'd call her a well balanced person? The type that can get along with anybody. Ryo suddenly reacted to my comment. The well balanced bit may have done it. Oh, yeah, didn't you lecture a certain someone about balance this and balance that? No, no, it was a lecture. A lesson I was grateful for. Oh, I remember that. Good times. Was that in episode 10? Jeez, that was a while ago already. Oh, well, literally, I mean, I recorded episode 10 last year in March. <laughs> I believe she said. I do think it'd be bad to be an outcast in the dorm if I'm going to become a well balanced person. If I'm blending in, then I'm glad. It wasn't because Ria had said it to me or anything. I did think I was that kind of person. The type who wanted to strike a good balance and lead a laid back lifestyle. A blessed life like that seemed so right to me. I had already graduated from a life where I blended in as part of something.、Uh, yeah? 
She went to grab a smoke, but was apparently out and squashed the box to a pulp. Why not use this as an opportunity to quit? Is this dude really gonna try to convince her to quit in every route? Jesus Christ, please let her go. She's not gonna stop smoking, dude. She has a crippling cigarette addiction. Real left. I ended up tagging along with her as a result. This ended up being my first time walking outside with her. Hey, that's nice. I like more adventures with Ria. Where do you normally buy your cigarettes? I doubt the convenience store has them. Despite her flashy hair color, Ria has a baby face and was quite short. If she tried to buy them at the convenience store, I bet the employees would give her weird looks. They're that trusting? Oh my god. Don't vending machines require you to submit some application and use a special card to buy them now? She showed me her card. You're such a stereotypical delinquent. And then... Oh, God. Why are you breathing? We bumped into the worst person possible, but we avoided an argument after Ria casually brushed her off. I felt one heck of a glare in my back. Good. What's the deal with you and Jogasaki? Wouldn't a fastidious person like her and a cigarette smoking delinquent mesh about it as awfully as imaginable? We're both boarders, so would she not be subjected to the same harassment I was? Hmm. Didn't sound like she had been subjected to any special harassment in particular. Jokosaki hated me and me alone? Damn, why? Did she just let one rip or something? <laughs> I don't know where Ria took a huge trip. Oh, okay. Well, it's hard to tell when it's a visual novel. You know, they don't move that much. I do really appreciate the small changes in their face or their eyes whenever they're talking and stuff. You know, imagine if it was just how she looks right now the entire time. All the characters, you know, that would be kind of boring. This makes it a lot more interesting, I think. You do usually hole up in your room. About the only time she ever went out were to the rooftop in the evening. I got the sense it was rare to even see Ria in fair weather to begin with. She seemed to have memorized the closest place outside the academy and stopped in front of a cigarette vending machine. She held out her card in a familiar fashion and bought a single pack. By all rights, this should probably be the scene where I yelled out, they're bad for you, and stopped her, but I guess I was fine, really. Your health and whatnot's your problem. I'm not bothered by it. Besides, you're smack dab in hot girl territory. I can more or less forgive a beautiful girl for being smoky. Huh? Smoky old men tend to irritate me though. Feels like I'm sniffling their bad breath. Or like I'm sucking in their exhaled hair. But when it's a woman, especially a beautiful one, it actually makes me happy. If they could make a law against anyone but beautiful women smoking cigarettes, I doubted modern day anti smoking fascism ever would have come to be. It's absolutely very creepy, you're right. Anyway, it doesn't bother me. So? There was an ashtray beside the vending machine, so she lit one up right away. Don't smoke while you walk, it'll be dangerous if it hits someone else. Looked like we were on the same page. I watched patiently until Ria finished smoking. I wasn't bothered, but I was careless. I may not be bothered, but this was still full-fledged smoking. I'd forgotten that we were out in public. Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Uh, I was called to and turned around. Bye. There were three men standing there. Oh? All three were well-built with seemingly uniform crew cuts. All baseball players, probably. And they were all acquaintances. <laughs> oh, from their point of view, that probably was how I looked right now. 
So I was chatting away like good friends in the smoking area with someone actively doing so. Oh yeah, it's definitely the Facebook players. Uh, that one's special. Don't worry about them. I turned away. They no longer had anything to do with me. That was how I saw it anyway. But those three considered me. Ah, oh, hex not. At that point, I would have fired back. Ain't no way. Rhea, can you believe this crap? <laughs> I hope it's not the douche baseball player this way. You sneered at me. You get to pick a fight. Tch. Wait, calm down. Ignore them. Ignore them. These weren't hoodlums. They were just riling me up. It wasn't as if they wanted the fight. As long as I left them be, they should leave soon enough. Hey! But I snapped back at them. I didn't care what they said about me. Yank. But then, Rhea tugged on my shirt from behind. The way Rhea shook her head to tell me not to worry about it helped me to somehow regain my composure. I'm sure she appreciated her <laughs> or him. Hold on. Can you shut up, man 3? I'm trying to talk. Anyways, I'm sure Rhea, as the friend, appreciates him being like, hey, that ain't cool. You know? But obviously, the morons. So, why escalate things more? Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Bro, who are they? Oh, okay, okay, they thankfully left in a hurry as they cackled out loud to themselves. Phew. Oh boy, the storm had passed. Aww. No, no, Rhea, come on. Rhea seemed to have inferred what happened put out the other half of her cigarette in the ashtray and pointed toward the dorm. It's fine. Tired along because I felt like it. We headed back to the dorm together. Back toward Noble Academy. Once we made it to the dorm, I wouldn't run into them anymore. I wouldn't run into my past. Aw, poor Rhea. That's the first time I've seen her sad. That makes me sad. I like spicy Rhea. <laughs> hmm. If I really give it some thought, Sundays may be the toughest on me ever since I rolled at this academy. Days off mean there's nothing to do. This dorm was questionably far from town, so it was a hassle to walk to and from. With that said, there was nothing to do in the dorm either. I was probably fine for the other girls since the boarders all got along so well. But my acceptance in the dorm was still a recent development and I wasn't a hot enough guy to mingle among the girls. Given how things are, it's more when there's nobody to hang out with. What do you say? Gaga. <laughs> Wanna take Peter on me and hang out for the day? I've got other plans. It would be in my best interest to avoid Joyosaki at all costs. <sighs> So much time to kill. I'm not so sure about going out for a walk for no reason. It's already pretty cold out, too. This temperature in late November was low enough that you'd want a reason to go outside. There's definitely no getting a hold of Kikuchi on a Sunday. He kept going on about something to do with lessons or high society. Wonder if Rain is around. I hadn't seen her since earlier that morning. Having her around would be a game changer all on its own. She was the only one in the storm that I could talk to normally. Manako, you're treading into dangerous territory. <laughs> wait, wait. I got friends like anyone else. But I haven't told any of them I'm at Noble Academy right now. It'd be a pain to explain to them that I transferred. Plain and simple. Hey, don't doubt me. I'm really not a loner. Dang it, she didn't believe a word I said. I did have friends, dang it. Had, I should say. 
おどこあこっちこっち今行くうん市松さんと話していたのせ世間話だって Off she went. I was genuinely alone. What to do now? When? Hey. Oh, you good? Hey, this is a track we haven't heard, have we? No, we definitely haven't heard this before. At least I haven't. Huh? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. That's not good. What the heck? I couldn't help but panic by how spur of the moment it was, but I quickly sprung into action. I can tell what sprawled out at on the pavement in front of the door. What in the world happened? Uh, a sauna unit, huh? Even though she'd already taken it off, I bet she'd worn it over tracksuit, which was now soaking wet. <laughs> She'd simply swooned and lost strength in her legs, so she didn't seem to be in especially bad shape. Probably he stroked from wearing unfamiliar clothes. I'll carry her inside. She'd catch a cold if she stayed outside while drenched in sweat. I carried her inside. She just got too hot. Could someone bring over a sports drink for her? The moderately cool foyer would be perfect, so I laid her out on the nearby sofa. Reina quickly bought an Akari sweat, sweet, sweat, sweat at the convenience store. Here, can you drink? <sighs> Transferred it into a cup and I brought it to her mouth. I slowly tipped it forward. Oops. She choked. Once again, I had her slowly drink. Ah, uh, choking on water is the worst. <sighs> Although I know it's not water. Shut up. <clears throat> Sounds like you're fully conscious. Do you feel sick or anything? <laughs> Since you're physically fat, I bet that caused your body temperature to rise all at once. No getting up. Just rest. He gently placed her legs up on the sofa's armrest and slid plastic bottles under her armpits. With heat stroke, you need to stay hydrated, elevate your legs to ease circulation, and put something cold under each armpit to cool off. This also warms the drink up to make it easier to drink while you're at it. More or less. Yeah. You had her wear a sauna suit, right? Sometimes happens to people when they wear sauna suits, especially the ones who go on long distance runs. Akuna-chan did run in track club a lot. Her body knew she was running based on muscle memory alone, but her body temperature rose too fast from wearing a sauna suit and running in such cool conditions. When purchasing a sauna suit, you should state something to the effect of, please break the suit in a few times on the wearing label. Given how cold it had been, I'm sure Reina was just trying to do something nice for one of the track club members. Her symptoms were luckily quite mild. She would be better in no time once she cooled off and got some rest. <laughs> She would be fine now that she was able to drink on her own. Don't make that face. It's an act of kindness. This definitely bothered her. She looked flashy, but was actually delicate. I bet Akuna-chan wasn't even worried about it, either. Hi. <sighs> Ah, well, yeah. I've collapsed due to heat stroke a few times in the past myself. I just remembered since it happened to me personally. Eh? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it always leads back to the baseball club. <laughs> yes, before I transferred. It's all in the past, though. すごいな、先輩。私も先輩みたいに倒れた人がいたらパパッと救護できるようになりたいです。とりあえず熱中症の時は覚えておこう。水分を取らせて足を上げて寝かせて脇の下に冷たいものを挟む。でしたね。The armpits were back of the neck. Yeah. There were apparently large blood vessels that were great for cooling the body. It was a useful piece of trivia you could use on sultry midsummer nights. Just put an ice pack under your armpits when it was too hot to sleep and you were all set. It also depends on the person's condition. If they're unconscious, you should call an ambulance immediately. So, so there are also times where even if a person is conscious, their mouth will dry out and they won't be able to make take in any fluid by themselves. If you want to be absolutely sure, you should still head to the hospital regardless. But then you were able to drink like normal once you got some fluids in you. So I think it should be fine if we try a couple times like we did now. Or even if we if you wash it down by force. She probably wanted to avoid causing a major incident and looked apologetic. Well, yeah, you wouldn't force it that hard. For example, you could slowly have them drink in stages through mouth to mouth. It was an effective solution for those who exhibited dehydration in deserts or the like. It happens sometimes, like when the hospital is far away, for example. I considered doing that for Akane-chan earlier, too. I mean, it's great that you were able to drink so quickly, but you did choke that one time. I thought to myself, maybe it'd be best to have her drink mouth to mouth for just a moment there. It is a bold statement, Oro. You should just shut up. I didn't actually do it, did I? Only considered it. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Nice, you almost killed her. Very nice. Reina was still upset, even if I, after Akana Chen headed back to her room. I told you, don't worry so much about it. You were being nice. Oh, come on, Reina. Well, just means you'll be more careful the next time. She'll be fine. I guarantee it. It's seen he'd stroke that minor a number of times. I knew she would be fine after taking her overall physical fitness and the absence of risky symptoms, such as an unrelenting cold sweat, into consideration. <laughs> You think so? It's just a matter of knowing what to do, though. Hmm. Come to think of it, I guess we'd caused a bit of a disturbance when the number of the boarders came out into the foyer to investigate. Think people here in the dorm will appreciate me more? Will my story of creating a harem inside a woman's dorm finally begin? <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I hope so. Yup, yup, yup. 
You have a point. You have a point. Kim Iro Labriche. Give me more Reina, though. I want less Akane. Oh, there we go. Lunch time. On that note, even if they imposed indiscriminate regulations on 2D lawless, I doubt Lollicon defenders would have disappeared from society entirely. No, which is why I believe 2D lawless and real children are totally separate. You know how 2D lawless are designed to do erotic things from the start? You heard my PP judges them the second they show up. No matter how short they may be or if they are toting around in a school bag, those factors are considered after you presume that they'd be willing to do erotic things, and your PP responds to that. When it's 3D, you know they are kids from the start, and the temptation of doing anything erotic is non existent from that point on. Regardless of what they're wearing, be it bloomers, the school swimsuit, or even if they were buck naked, my people wouldn't react in the slightest. That's why, no matter how open minded I may be to 2D Lois, 3D Lois doesn't turn me on at all. What do you think of my theory? If we were to get everyone to correctly understand this concept, it could be an effective means to rehabilitate the Lollicon offenders of the world, and I think it would reduce witch hunts against rashly regulating 2D lollies as well. Again, I'm saying this having seen it in real life. If you go to the bathhouse in my neighborhood around 5 o'clock, parents come into the men's bath with their young daughters all the time. I've seen more than enough nudity there, but it doesn't turn me on. What's wrong? <laughs> what the? What's up with the art? Yeah. <laughs> You're too loud. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> After school. Oh no, this isn't about the bathhouse, is it? Oh my god, that's not what you meant. You're clearly drawn to the idea of seeing a lolly, though. Graphic. I thought you liked big biddies, Kikuchio. Big boobed lolis is a genre that exists in our own. Some go out of their way to look for their mother loneliness and lollies, otherwise known as lolly mommy. The same crowd that likes cross dresses is usually into that sleek, flat chested lollies, too. That's weird. Hmm, well. In the unlikely event you all wake into the power of lollies, I doubt you do anything criminal, but go in the bathhouse together, huh? I'll send them there. <laughs> I'll only tell you where it is. There's a place the next town over called Nishiki Bathhouse. 
is an apartment building nearby, so quite a few families take their kids there. Off they went. I wondered if it was okay I didn't tell them that it had turned into a den for lots of scary older men due to its lax tattoo policy. Oh well. What should I do now? Still too early to head back to the dorm, and Rio was probably up on the roof. Hey, Sylvia. Yeah? Sylvia just so happened to turn up. Ah, uh, sorry. But I have to run it by Ellison first. There's one of the few places left in Japan where those older men with tattoos could fit in. And it might disappear entirely if Sylvia visited. Hmm. Yeah, guess she hasn't come back yet. She's probably in the fashion studio. Was she asking me to return it for her due to her high tight, blah, 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 tight schedule? Sure, I'll make sure she gets it. I took the item she apparently borrowed. Lip balm? There'd be no issue returning something this small tomorrow if you asked me. Princesses were awfully dependable with these sorts of things. She tacked on another please before she ran over to Edison. Hmm. It ought to be fine to just shoot her a text when we got back to the dorm and return it then, but... Yeah, I had an idea of where she was anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. May as well take a trip over there. I came to see Reina. Is she here? Several of Reina's friends were walking out of the fashion studio. When I asked where she was, they pointed straight inside. She added upon her departure. Quietly? Reina was the only one left. She was drawing something. What was she drawing? Oh. Oh. Interesting. The Reina I had never seen before was sitting at one of the desks. Me too. I don't know how I feel about her with the glasses though. It's interesting. It awakened something inside of me. And I'm not sure what it is. She was... I said it by the way, not Odo. She was drawing something on a massive sheet of graph paper. And that something was a sketch of a human figure. But it didn't feel like she was drawing a picture. She pressed several buttons on her calculator, did some quick measurements with a ruler, and drew several lines. This was one of her unappealing drawing style that would be sure to take off any art teacher. She wasn't drawing pictures, she was calculating. Which had to mean this was. You're designing something, huh? She ignored me. No, she didn't hear me. She was so hyper-focused on drawing straight lines that her ears didn't seem to function. I may as well wait. I stepped outside of her view and waited, careful not to disturb her. Single piece of lip balm. I really did think I could just send her a message later back at the dorm, but... Rena was wearing a pair of thick, bookish-looking glasses. She was so focused on the task at hand, she had set aside her own fashion sense in favor of functionality. It just so happened to captivate me since it was such a rare sight. Absolutely. <laughs> Her mind was on overdrive in an effort to assemble a mental image of her design. I knew she was serious when it came to fashion, but I never realized she was this serious about it. Wow, that was nice. I love art. In the end, Reina finished her work at the last second before the school gets closed. I did say something, for the record. We talked as we headed toward the school gate together. I've never met someone so focused they didn't notice a change in their surroundings. It's not messy enough to be worth bringing up. 
Apparently her unflattering appearance back in the classroom was a touchy subject for a trendy girl like Reyna, and her face was bright red as a result. She was squirming like crazy beside me. Beside me, Reyna was normally so aloof, but seemed relatively ordinary when she got like this. She really was cute. By the way, I'd like to ask something. Oh? Hold on, why is this? I need to look at my guide, one second. Again, I don't know if this guy, okay. Let me, let me explain something. So this guy that I'm looking at, it says that this is for the adult patch version. So I'm not sure if that means anything because the thing is the choices are exactly how they're presented in the game. So I'm wondering if that does anything to the game since it isn't the adult version. And if it doesn't, am I just wasting time? I don't know. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it so I won't waste time on the freaking, you know, the guide. But I'm still going to do it just in case. Oh, let's see. Rainaru. Rainaru. Start Rainaru's route. Make decisions at will. 18. 18? Perfectly balanced. Finish Rainaru's route. What the heck? Make decisions at will? Oh, it doesn't matter what I choose. Okay. Something tells me Reyna's route isn't going to be that long. I don't like that. Because she would definitely deserve a fairly long route, you know? Or not even long, just a regular route. Uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Well, I'm glad the route cho or the choices doesn't matter. Okay. Did you pick out those glasses yourself? Your hair doesn't get messy. You look great in a paper apron. What stood out most, if you were to ask me? I'd say the glasses. Don't mess with me. <laughs> she got mad. I didn't know your eyesight was that bad. Really? That's interesting. Uh, come to think of it, you have made some ridiculous faces when you look at your phone sometimes. But you're not wearing contacts then. Whenever you squint your eyes, your mouth gets all crooked, too. Watch out for that. Eh, Be careful. You make strange enough a face that I have to blatantly look away. <laughs> yeah, she was really cute. We'll avoid the subject of how serious you get when you're on the job for now. You were doing that, right? Clothing design? successfully shifted the subject in the direction Reyna preferred. Is that how this whole design thing works? You were measuring lengths and stuff with a ruler. Reconstructing? Huh. Wouldn't that be pointless? No. It's not uh, news outlets often included images with their fashion related articles and those same pieces would provide insight into the latest fashion shows that were held by designer colleges where people would w colleges yeah where people would wear raw fish on their heads or snowman like outfits raw fish on their head i had basically turned into a costume party they were the sort of things Hollywood celebrities would only really wear at award shows and the like. Definitely didn't seem like they were wearing clothing designs. The clothing design market seemed completely saturated in the modern day and it may have been nearly impossible to create anything new. But isn't that enough reason that dragging out old designs would be pointless? I'd assume that wouldn't be any sort of achievement for a designer. Or so I thought. <clears throat> Reyna was grinning. Sounded like this conversation was completely in her wheelhouse. Golden ratio? What was it again? It's that thing where a roughly 1 1 6 ratio is best when forming a rectangle, right? So then, when you divide it up into a square, the remaining 0.618 forms more rectangles and basically swirls around infinitely, right? So, like, this is what lesson 5 is for? 
had heard of this before. Many square-shaped objects used in modern-day activities were based on this ratio. It was apparently where the 1920 by 1200 display aspect ratio came from. So, what about it? Seriously? I thought wearing a fish on your head or turning raw meat and dresses was what was trending. なんか人間が図形を見るとき uh, thought she was just as dumb as I was, but she wasn't a Nova Academy student just for sure. <coughs> oh my god, I have no idea what she's talking about. And my voice is being. She speaks so passionately about it though. And she seems to know what she's talking about. Look at that. Geometrically? I heard what she said, but had no idea how to process that information. そうやって場所を決めることで、これまであった<笑> Hmm. Balance, huh? It was easy to follow when she put it that way. Only to the extent that it struck a balance, that is. <laughs> yes. Design relied on mathematics. It seemed complicated enough that my interest wanted Boined the second I heard anything about it. With that, we headed back to the dorm. Before we said goodbye, we chatted a little longer. She ran into some pretty complicated stuff, huh? <laughs> what a drag. And here I thought we were on the same level. She was doing some incredible work. But when we talked like this, Reina was Reina. The usual silly friend and trendy girl. Honestly, I was far more relaxed when she was her usual goofy self. But that's a given since you wear those humongous glasses. Huge glasses are proof you're intelligent. <laughs> I heard to see an unexpected side of you today. Maybe I'll write about it in my journal. <laughs> I got their conversation back into a joking track, and Raina blew her lid while forcing a smile. <laughs> You really shouldn't worry about stuff like that. あったり前じゃん。上司にとって外は戦場、おしゃれは戦闘服。それを脱いでるとこ見られるなんて先進くまなく見られたようなもんだよ。She's tripping. Sorry for that. ああ、顔から出た日が光線溶かして東京焼き尽くしそう。おしっかず。<laughs> <laughs> Reyna wasn't taking it well and made a quick getaway to her dorm room. I felt bad at the end there, but I'd gotten the chance to see so many different sides of Reyna today. She was smart and shy. Interesting. There's also that unfashionable get-up of hers to consider, too. More than that, though? Yeah. I'd seen the side of Reyna that was passionately devoted to her craft. That was nice. I like that. We learned more about Reina today. That's great. I love that. <laughs> so we had brought an identical copy of the lip balm I'd returned to Reina yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Reina. Lip balm, huh? 
I guess it was December already. Season where it was in this, where it was in essential. Hold up, hold up. What? What? How is it December already? The reason why I'm like, like what the heck is because in Sylvia's route when it was December, at least that's when it ended with Sylvia. So, so I'm naturally assuming that it's going to end around Christmas as well, and Raina's route and and all the routes. And I hope that's not the case because. If that's the case, Reyna's gonna have a really short route. And I'm gonna be extremely, extremely salty. I don't have lip balm. I use this. I took a small bottle out of my pocket. Yeah, it's extremely effective for fending off abrasions, frostbite, and a bunch of other stuff that's common in this dry season. To be blunt, this one makes up about 90% of lip balm. Petroleum jelly is far more useful if you were ever worried about anything other than rough lips. That's what I've used ever since I was little. Can't change it now. I don't do that. Much. <laughs> so he popped the cap of the lip balm and showed it to me. Uh, the peach scented kind? With that, she cut her lips with the bomb. You shouldn't lick that, should you? She recorded them one more time. <laughs> this girl was the perfect candidate for tasteless petroleum jelly. <clears throat> some put some on as well. <laughs> With the two of them standing side by side, so his lips were pink and cute. Well, other sounds were dark red. Additional glossiness from the lip balm only made Elsan look sexy. No, she had charmed me. Lip balm tastes so good for no reason. That's what I, my 10 year old self would think. She obviously didn't give them a full blown lick, but she did pucker her thick, soft looking lips. All essential for sure. She spread the lip balm out without mercy. This is Sylvia's son. Putting a princess's lip balm on another person's lips? That's a little dicey in my opinion. Heck. Given the order this happened in, it was like Elisan and I shared an indirect kiss. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. It smells nice. I let it pass. Right, Elisan? Smell, right? <laughs> Elisan's cheeks were a little pink, but we shared a quick look and silently agreed to drop the subject entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Someone take that away. It was no surprise that Alison had intervened when Sylvia so brought the tube, which had just left my lips. I tore her own mouth again. When? Hmm. What's up, Raina? <clears throat> Raina had noticed we had suddenly stopped what we were doing. She was staring intently at my jar of petroleum jelly. What, got a problem with it? I don't use it during private time. Much. 
I told you, I don't use it for that much. She rubbed the jar. It did seem gritty and made a bunch of scratchy noises. Honestly, I treated it pretty roughly. I thrown it against the ground and it was covered in a huge amount of scratches and the like. She stared thoughtfully at the unusually textured jar. You give it back. She returned the jar. It wasn't really like I was bothered since she'd noticed. But it wasn't the sort of thing I had to outright inform her of either. That surprised me. But what the heck? The guys were upset with me. No need to ask. It's all a misunderstanding. I'll smack these guys around and shut them up right now. Bad head somewhere to that scary person you wouldn't see. So you're telling me you went to the bathhouse yesterday, but they didn't run into any girls? Yes. What? Yeah, that was too bad. But just like I told you at the start, customers like that only come around one and three times at best. Yeah, Jesus I see. It's a relief to hear you were going to stop before actually committing a crime. Uh, you ran into this scary older man? Oh yeah, I guess I had mentioned the possibility of them running into some scary tattooed man to their relaxed body art policy. But... Why, おじさん。何ですかうん。あの銭湯浜田のすぐ近くだからそこの野球部がガンガン来るぞじゃん。特に今の時期。最初のうちは近所のおじいさんが数人という客層だったのが。6時を過ぎたあたりで急に30人近い
写真とかだと超絶かっこいいよね野球部って大体ブサイクなのにあの顔はすごいよ Girls could say some pretty crass stuff without batting an eye まった有名な方とご一緒したのですねあらでも確か今年のシマ君はだいぶ調子を落としてらっしゃるのではなかったかしらうんああと言われていますね正確には浜南学園全体が今年は随分と調子を落としているそうです去年の春夏と今年の春まで県内じゃ無双全国でもすごかったらしいのにこの前の夏は第一試合で負けたんだっけはい勝負は時の運とはいえ残念ですみんな野球詳しいね野球はどうでもいいでも男には詳しくいたいなるほどイケメンで将来1億円なんてなかなかないよほら見てこれ超イケメン She showed us a picture on her smartphone. It was a picture from a championship victory in the middle school tournament. It featured Shima Toryo hugging his catcher. How are you? But I'm not sure. 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 I like your style, showcasing the unsightly side of a woman like that. All of the ladies were hugged and ultimately, ultimately he ended up talking about the baseball club afterwards, so it was like the bathhouse discussion never happened. That's great. Naked men, naked women, baseball players, beefy men, all kinds of men. And rich men. Yeah, good stuff. Well, guys, I have to wrap it up here, <laughs> unfortunately. Again, I really hope Reina's route isn't shorter than Sylvia's because I'm actually going to be depressed. I will be really, really sad. You know, Reina deserves more. That's if she gets a short, you know, route, assuming. Because based on what I saw, it, it kind of hinted, it kind of looked like she has a short route. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So hopefully, hopefully, my speculation is incorrect because I do not. Want a short r a i n a route. I'll be really upset. Especially if Ella has a longer route than r a i n a I'll be even more salty. And even Akane. Oh my god. Don't even get me started on Akane. No, Ella, dude. Ella. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King k o n If you did, please let me know by hitting that like. It really helps my self esteem. And subscribe if you made it this far. You haven't already done so. Share this video, share this channel, share everything. Do whatever it takes. Let's hit a thousand subs. Oh, and if you have any game suggestions, you know, visual novels, it doesn't have to be user s e l f They could be totally different. In fact, I wouldn't even be upset if it was a different genre. In fact, I would greatly appreciate that if it was a different genre of visual novel. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. Anyways, I'm out of here. I hope y'all stay safe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time.